Hello Internet, I'm Dane, this is Making a Man Cave. Uh, working down in the basement here, one thing I realized using any sort of power tools, anything like that, is the ventilation is terrible, uh, because there's none. So what I'm doing, I have a Vilco doors behind me, and I wanna make it so that, uh, we have a small window over there uh, on the other side, um, so I'm gonna open that one, and I'm gonna have a fan blowing air uh, basically through and out the doors once they're open. Uh, but I don't want to just have this fan just sitting there because it's not going to work very efficiently. So what I did was took a piece of uh, plywood and I cut out, cut out a piece that roughly fits in there, a little bit of space on each side. That'll fit in there like that. I'm going to trace the size in here and cut it out with a jigsaw of the fan. Then I'm gonna put two two by twos on each side like that. Screw them into this board and then have this screwed into them there so that, uh, or basically bolted in so that I can turn it up like that so it has the fan blowing up and out. Um, and that'll I'm not going to have it set up so that it's fixed on there. It'll be so that I can take it off every time I need to use it and then close the door when I don't need it. Yeah, okay, let's get started. Okay, so I measured it out so this is as close to center, uh, left and right as I could get it. And then it's more up towards the top so that when we angle it, the air is gonna be shooting straight out. Um, so I'm going to be tracing the outline. Then we want it to be able to tip up and down. So what I'm, so we're gonna have to cut out a little bit more on each side or on the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna move it down about half an inch. And then go over that. And then go back to normal and then move it up about half an inch. You see we have our lines here and I'm only gonna cut out the outside line. Okay, so now that we have this cut out to the size that we need, and you see there's a lot of room going up and down so that we can turn it up and down when we put it in the middle, but not really any room side to side. Because what we're gonna be doing is screwing these onto the board like this, and then we're going to be taking the cover off and drilling a hole in here and through here and having this attached like that so that we can turn it up and down. Um, this should be a nut. I don't have a nut that fits this. I don't wanna go out and buy one. I'm just gonna use what I have. So we're gonna screw it on like that and then toss that on to screw it or to, uh, to bolt it on. So let's get started. Okay, the big thing that I was worried about was when we put these on the inside, whether or not they'd be hitting. But if you see here, there's more than enough room, about a finger's, a finger's distance between the, the edge and uh, and the fan blade, so we'll definitely be able to put that in there like that. Good. Now we drill a hole. Get a little punch here like this. Literally just a little pick. Put on the spot there. on each side. Fifty-nine and one eighth. And they're very different because 
There's not a right angle anywhere in this house, so the door is very crooked. All right, so what I did here was I lined up the board. The big part is that, that you have to look out for is that you're flush with the inside here and that you're not going past this board with your two by twos. And then I just clamped them in because we're gonna be screwing in from the other side. So flip it over here. Right down flat like that. I'm gonna put two right in there. two by two board or uh, beam underneath there. So what we're using is one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch screws. So we don't go through all the way. now was just place I put the screws in um, into the fan Hang on. That's upside down put the fan in there and I'm just figuring out where belt level is and what I'm just going to do is just mark off where the screws are because that's where we're going to be drilling through There it is. I can angle it up a little bit if I want to like that. Awesome. So what I'm probably gonna do also, um, have figured out exactly how I'm going to keep it stable. What I'm probably just gonna do is just have a little piece of wood. Uh... All right, so I have, yep. All right, so I have the piece of wood here. I have the nail a little bit off center, so uh, the, the longer side goes down. What I'm just gonna do is go about midway here. You want it slightly above the bottom of the door frame. And just make sure that it can, okay, it can't turn up there. Every, every damn angle is off in this house. Good, goes up and then goes down. Let's try it out. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any other suggestions for things that you want to see, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you can subscribe, support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. There's probably going to be a link somewhere here to watch more videos. If you could do that, we'd really appreciate it. Um, hope this works for you. Thanks for watching.